A mystery buyer has purchased a $93 million penthouse in New York City's most expensive tower. No one knows who it could be. <laughs> Thank you. Was he wearing a Knicks hoodie and pictures of himself on his socks? <laughs> Nothing wrong with that, David. <laughs> No, Adam and I met. We'll start at the beginning. We yeah. met uh, years and years ago at. Um, do you remember how we met? The improv, right? Improv, I think. Yes, I yes. I don't know who introduced us, but I remember seeing you come in. You had a little leather jacket. That was me when I was young. <laughs> My <laughs> God. Cute. What a sweetheart. <laughs> and, uh, but Davey was cool when you first came in the club. I heard about you a little bit. You you were in a movie. You were in. Oh, it was in Police Academy. Academy. Yeah, so yeah. it was like a big deal. David had a lot of heat. And, I, and he had a leather jacket on. And I, I don't know if you were carrying a skateboard, but it felt like you were, am I right? <laughs> <laughs> Probably. <laughs> I had, you know that coat? I remember this coat because I thought it, I had extra money on me, like a thousand bucks from the whole movie. So I thought I was rich, so I went and bought a cool jacket, but it was so heavy. Right, right, Leather, right. and it had like 50 zippers on it, like a motorcycle jacket. But it was worth getting spinal bifida because I <laughs> Walk around, but I don't know. And when I went back to Arizona, they go, they go, uh, you've changed. And I was like, no, everyone's changed. But actually, in that case, I had changed. Uh, and I was right. trying to be super cool. Right, yeah, 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 uh, I did that. Too. But I remember seeing you at the improv and you were, uh, just because you were funny and then you had such a different We sort were of both stand. young, so yeah. it was a big deal. That's why right away we, we like, well, I, I think we wanted to meet each other or, or like we were maybe threatened by each other or whatever the hell we were. But you, we were both like 22, 23 years old. Yeah, and we, and you know, everyone there was like, it, back then it was like Seinfeld and Leno yes. and all those great guys, but we were like newer and so we'd find each other because we were younger. Right. Apatow uh, was there yeah. too. There's a lot of good guys. Schneider. Schneider, you and Schneider were tight. Yeah. You guys were friends first. And you were friends with Apatow. And yes. I Tells you why mine went this way. And you're... So, <laughs> but... <laughs> oh, I'm killing it. But the Schneid man. I remember yes. some of your jokes. I'm gonna tell you one, and what? you tell me if this is how it goes. Yes. You said, uh, well, you go, um, Wilt, Wilt Chamberlain scored 100 points in one game, which is true. Right. And he goes, here's my impression of the uh, his team in in the timeout in the huddle. Hey, Wilt, I'm f***ing open, dude. Uh, that's <laughs> Right. Toss me the ball sometimes. You already had 90. You're getting greedy. My parents flew in. All right. Can I get two? And then you go, here's the coach on the other team during the, the huddle. Who's covering Wilt? Uh, yeah. uh, that stay was on it. him. I believe he's hot. That was, that's right. Yeah. I believe he's hot. I know. I used to get so excited to say that joke because it was one of the few that worked. Like yeah. when, we, when, we were, when we were young, it wasn't a guarantee. We would do our 10 minutes on stage or yeah. 15 minutes and like we'd have probably three good minutes out of the 15, right? Some padding, yeah, yeah. Yeah, so you you got excited to do the ones that you knew that you were gonna get a reaction, and the other stuff you were terrified. But... I had like an audition set, so I finally, oh, yeah. everyone says like, I'd meet guys who've been doing it six months, they go, I got about an hour of material. I go, bullshit, <laughs> shit, there's no way. <laughs> like, an hour that sucks, but right, just right, to right. get six minutes, or they'd go, we have a showcase, everyone's doing 10, everyone's doing eight, yeah. or for Star Search, or for, you know, right, Tonight right. Show. So I had a six that I would all, that I thought was really good, but it was hard just to get that. Oh yes, yeah. I did six for the Tonight Show and I ate it. I oh, did yeah. for Johnny. You got Johnny Carson. Yeah, you barely were, at the last. You killed it. I went to that show. Do you remember? Oh, I didn't. I was in the crowd watching you. You oh, had hilarious. a he got had a brand new sweater and when he came <laughs> out and, he, and he, when he came on on the show he he squeezed his sweater and he goes somebody went to the Gap today. And oh I, yeah. And, in the middle of my set, yeah, 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 yeah. It was in the middle. Yeah. It was incredible. That was man. good because it was a weird joke. I look back, that was a good weird that joke. That was the best one. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That was uh, cool. Funny. I definitely, uh, I ate it. I wanted that so bad. Just because that would have been the one that everyone um, in my hometown talked about. He, oh, yeah. He met Johnny. That was the biggest one for you, right? I have a picture of that one. We didn't show, but uh, I'll post it. Don't you worry. Man. So uh, when we were on Saturday Night Live, they remember some, I remember, but. Yes. We were on the old days, but right. I got on, we both got on pretty much because of stand-up. Right. Right, so. You got on first. We auditioned, I, I think I got on with Rob Schneider first. We just did yes. the end of a season, like four shows. Yes. Then it was summer. Yes. Farley and Chris Rock came in at the beginning. Right, right, right. And then right. I think you didn't come in until maybe like November, December, right? Yeah, yeah, like maybe eight shows in or something like yeah, that. Yeah, yeah, you yes. came in. Because you year. and Schneider told those guys I was good. And then yeah, we're trying to help yeah. you out. Yes. 
And I go, I go, hey, he's good. And then I go, hey, be medium good. Don't be like that. <laughs> but it was too late. He took off. Yeah, that was the first sketch I wrote, which was of Michael J. Fox not getting Unbelievable. Any. And that was uh, the one that first one that got on the air, and it was a bunch of guys that Who never was heard. everybody in there? Oh, Michael, I remember you did Michael J. Fox to Michael J. Fox. And, oh, yeah, and, and that's and show, he yeah. loved it. He yeah, loved charged, it. Yeah, he's yeah. Uh, <laughs> we, we were just doing, like, guys that never got laid yet. Oh, is that right? And we were explaining how we're not getting laid. Yeah. Oh, it's funny, <laughs> Different man. ways it happened. <laughs> but you got on, I remember, I think the first one update you did, update's the easiest way to get on on the show. It's right, the quickest right. way if you're new. Yeah. And uh, the Halloween one was one of my favorites early. The Halloween one was, where well, yeah. I, if you remember, yeah. they can look it up. But up. That was cool because very unique, all personality driven, and no one was doing anything like it. It was, yes, yeah, I, I, I think, I, I think I came up with that, but Apatow always tells me that was, he came up with it and told me to do it. Oh, okay. so maybe, I don't know who did, maybe he did, he usually doesn't lie about that stuff. But, uh, but um, I remember I did it, I remember I got a, did you remember, I think I did better at dress rehearsal with that. Than oh, on you the always end. remember that shit. That I hurt, that. that hurt. When you do Saturday Night Live, you do the show before to, like it's a- With the two, full crowd like this. Like full exactly crowd like this. Two, two, it's like two hours worth of material instead of the hour and a half. So you're fighting to get your stuff on. And then um, I, I did better at dress rehearsal. I used to do better at dress a lot. Yeah, it, I don't know why that it is. It breaks your heart. You, you kill before the show, you hear the crowd going, ah. you're like, oh my God, this is gonna be incredible. Then you do the live show, you do it and they're kind of like, ah. <laughs> and you're like, <laughs> Should well, because you me. compare it to, right, you just did it. They don't yeah. know that, but right, right, right. in your head, you're like, even one joke, you're like, Fuck, they're not as good as last uh, time. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> but you did Crazy Spoon Man, hey, yes, spoons, yes, all that shit. Yes. So funny. Did Opera Man. Yeah, did, yeah. Uh, Cajun well, Man is great. You, you, but, but you were Holly, what, what, what was it called, Davey? Hollywood, Hollywood Minute. Uh, Hollywood There's you, oh, wee. Yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> oh, that was always the goodbye. Yeah. <laughs> That's goodbye. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> you give it a big, hard goodbye. Always wanted to hit him, hit him at the end. You know, try to get the, the roses thrown, and Neelan was always great. Remember how great Neelan was to Neelan us? Neelan was great on there. We, I had, I had a little bit of Dennis Miller, then we had Neelan, and then Norm. Yes. Yeah. I had a Dennis, uh, like, I think I, my first year was Dennis, and then old Neelan, then Norm, yeah. right? Yeah. Sand do. Yeah, Sandman. Yeah, he used to yeah. make fun of us all the time. Oh yeah, yeah. You yeah. guys. Yeah. We, uh, we did Gap Girls. Gap Girls was the funnest for me because for sure. it was an all we yeah. wrote. That was amazing. Look at Farley's really choking me. I'm about to die. Oh, but, yes. Well, I wrote this mostly. <laughs> look yeah. at your face. Ah. Uh, I wrote that mostly. Be I went to the Gap in Arizona on its Christmas break, right. and they were, I was just standing there, and they were talking. They were like, you weren't in the folding meeting. <laughs> All supposed to be in every folding meeting. I'm like, there's a folding meeting? He's like, yeah. Anyway, and then they put a piece of cardboard in it and fold it, and I was like, oh, my God, you guys do that? And they're like, cable crews go up front. So I just basically was gathering whatever they really said and right. made us do it. But I put us in it because it was, that was a big chunk of the week to rehearse, so it was more okay. fun to have everyone you knew in it. Yeah, 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 yeah. So yeah. we could but all You hooked around. us up, you hooked me up in that, you hooked everybody up. It was the best one, we were all, all the young guys, were, when we were together, we were so relaxed. That was, yeah, it was that more was... fun, because you weren't worried about the other guy, you were like, yeah. we're just trying to stay on the show. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> yeah exactly. When Farley, yeah. when he says, lay off me, I'm starving. Yeah, uh, yeah. It's one of my proudest moments of a line I've written that because he did it so great and I was so yeah. scared he was gonna blow it. And yeah. Because he, he comes in and I was mouthing the words because at oh, rehearsal yeah. he would sort of ad lib or screw around. I'm like, right. So I said yeah. it with him and then he got it right. I'm like, thank God. Uh, Dude, there's so many uh, things when I would watch back. Like we would tape it, we had the uh, video Whatever, cassette. you tape your show, video cassette, and I would watch it on Sunday, and li literally half my skits I was mouthing along with the <laughs> so It's hard to do. Just gets Because we're a amateur hour. <laughs> this is from our Twitter account and okay. some of these audience people here. Gotcha, so. gotcha, gotcha. First question. Yes. Here we go. Let's do it. Uh, did you like playing a Jewish person in <laughs> Uncut Gems? <laughs> It was, uh, you know, yeah, I, I had an acting coach. <laughs> that, uh, <laughs> got me into, took me to a few temples. I watched the behavior of the, the Jewish person. So this is so, how it is. Yes, okay. I okay. see. Yes, yes, it was fun. I think most, most of the, most of my characters in my life, I land on the, the Jewish person. I've, it, it's uh, there are times I, I, I think I've been a character who's not Jewish. Maybe one or two movies, but it always 
midway th through the shoot, they go, you know what, let's make them Jewish. <laughs> <laughs> it's not working out. <laughs> but do you see, like, for Uncut Gems, which I saw, I thought was great. Uh, Thank you, yeah, baby. Great. Thanks, guys. I love that you came to that. Oh, you were the funniest because David uh, came to the premiere, yeah. and I get a text like a halfway into the movie. What time does it start? And I was like, <laughs> he didn't show, you got me, I thought. I was like, you didn't show up, or? <laughs> almost there. Yeah, um, almost there, the, yeah. Uh, <laughs> the, uh, first of all, it's, I just heard today that it's setting records in like limited uh, right, right, theaters, right. you know, it's only in a couple, yeah. and then it, it blows big on Christmas yes, Day. Yes, but yes, Definitely yes. Were, uh, great to see. It's cool, Very the tense. cool. You know, I didn't really watch a preview because I didn't want to know anything, and so I didn't know anything. And then I went right. in, and I still, I didn't know much. I didn't, you know, because I'm not that smart. So I'm like, I think that guy's Adam. Everyone's like, shut up. <laughs> but uh, it was cool. Davey, you should do a, uh, yeah, I mean, it's, it's a funny movie, Uncut Gems, but it's like kind of hardcore. Yeah. You'd be so awesome in a, a movie like that. Yeah. You would be oh, a yeah. crack. <laughs> he, he's a badass, yeah. David. Well, it You was, don't have time now that you have the show. No, I know, but. Uh, <laughs> Or uh, we would do it. I, I, I think, I think it was you. Where it was drama, but it was even funnier because it, it wasn't really set. You weren't expecting a comedy, so right, right, just, right. But you're doing stuff that's funny. There's some character. funny stuff. My character's nuts. Right. Yes. All right. Well, here we go. Here's another question. Hit me, Adam. Yes. Did you work as a sky cap at JFK in 1989? I think you called me a f***ing bitch for not tipping you. <laughs> <laughs> oh man. That wasn't you, was it? Wasn't me, but I certainly have that in me. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Uh, do you like when people do impressions of you? F uh, yes, yes. You do a good one. <laughs> oh, <yeah. laughs> I get that. Davey does, Davey, every time I talk to David on the phone, I'll say something that I hear. Oh, yeah. Ooh, yeah. <laughs> it still works. Uh, another question. I saw your kids singing on the news. They have great voices. Actually, was that that? that was you were the, there, the, yeah, uh, yeah. Thing at Gerber's. That was, they were great. Do you think yeah. they'll do it professionally? Oh, that's, you know what? I don't know. I, I, I know they love to sing. They like having fun. I don't, I don't, we, we just like to do, you know, goof around, sing, jam. They play piano. They play uh, uh, guitar. Just, that's it. That's, that's, you never know what the hell is going to happen in life, yeah. but they love it. They were great singers that night. They did a Taylor Swift How about the fact that they go on? You know, sometimes when we do stand-up, there's giant crowds and the kids come and they go on stage and sing and just for fun because they're like on the road with us. And uh, they're like, can we do something? Yeah, go ahead, sing, sing a tune. And they, maybe like five seconds before that you see them go, oh my God. Mm -hmm. But then once they get out there, they're kind of cool. They, like, they didn't really practice or anything. They don't practice, they do it, it's nice. And then they leave and, and then they, they don't forget care. about it yeah, a thousand percent. Yeah. They don't even know what happened. <laughs> good. That's Are you good. worried they won't go into your profession of buffoonery? <laughs> <laughs> they both can do the, I swear to God. I'll sometimes, I ask my kids to do that before I go to sleep. I go, you mind you hit me one? They just go. <laughs> <laughs> up, down, down, up. <laughs>